Jashane Pauwin of Jamaica, Kieran Srish Kanjaraja, silver medalist at under 17, 800 two years ago, Kemaria Boingrave, the 1500 champion here, Jaffa Woodley of Trinidad and Tobago, Brandon Hines of Barbados, and Zion Miller of the Bahamas. Fantastic field. Unfortunate that we don't have Nathan Cumberbatch, who is eligible to return to the Carifta ranks this year. He's uh, on university duty at USC. He's been running really quickly. We'd have had a truly superb race, but I think we can still have a great race there with Bygrave, Shishkanda Raja, looking to do battle. Cumberbatch, brilliant indoors with Trinidad and Tobago records as we go through the field. Zion Miller of the Bahamas is in eight. 155, 66 to get into this final. Had to run pretty fast to get in here. Brandon Hines of Barbados qualified at 155.05. He looks like he means business. Jaffa Woodley of Trinidad and Tobago looked good in qualifying. Second fastest at 154.92. There's the 1500 champion, Camario Bygrave. This is his preferred event though. He starts in lane five. Kieran Srich Kanjaraja, based in the UK, 1500 on the 17 champion two years ago. Silver behind the Jamaican Ainsley Brown at 800 meters. Here's his chance. Could have made the Trinidad and Tobago team at the U20s last year. Yashane Brown of Jamaica. Run four by four for his team qualifying this morning. D'Angelo Brown of Grenada. They have been running inspired, the Grenadians. And on the inside, Javon Roberts of Guyana, last year's on the 17, 800 champion. Three times a Carifta medalist, Roberts. And has a two 1500 silver medals at the under 17 level. Bygrave on paper, the class of the field. 151.10 this year. Stand. Step back. On your marks! Off they go. 800 final for under 20 boys. Let's see how this one will unfold. So competitive this lineup. So many fine storylines. As Trinidad and Tobago's Jaffa Woodley goes to the front, Camario Bygrave sits right in behind him. Interesting to see Bowen sticking around at the back of the pack, he along with Trishkanda Raja. Yeah, Bowen can run the race in many different ways. He does this quite a lot. Stay at the back. He can run from the front. The Corrector Trials in Kingston, he came from about 50 meters back to snatch second on the line. Camaria Bygrave leads though. Second position, Woodley of Trinidad and Tobago. Up those steps, Ashish Gandaraja. The Grenadian in the mix as well. D'Angelo Brown wants a medal. Bygrave punches hard down the back stretch. Trips Kanjaraja, alert to the danger, steps forward. Brown of Grenada still in the mix. So too is Woodley of Trinidad and Tobago. Pycrave looking for the 800 1500 double. Trips Kanjaraja goes after him. Into the straightaway they come. Kemario Pycrave still has the advantage. Has a glance behind him, the Jamaican. Trips Kanjaraja kicks in. Brown of Grenada is holding bronze. Trinidad and Tobago's Woodley fighting. Kamaria Bygrave will win the double and he'll do it in sensational fashion. It's going to be close for Silver. Brown gets it for Grenada. Trish Kantaraja settles for bronze. It's a spicy afternoon in St. Lucia. Kamaria Bygrave wins gold. But the crowd goes wild for D'Angelo Brown, who gets a fabulous silver. 151-43. He'd never won a Carifta medal before 2024. Now he has double gold. 
Oh, what a performance from this man. 152-81. He smashes his personal best. Wow. What a race. What a race. Trish Kanjaraja settles for bronze. 152-91. Nothing to be ashamed of. That was terrific running. Those two young men producing the fifth fastest 800 meter run in the CAC region for 2024. Bygrave though, still a little shy of his best, but taking the race by the scruff of his neck. Daring his rivals to respond. Shishkandaraja tries, Brown coming through as well. Shishkandaraja unequal to the task. Bygrave is striding powerfully to the front across the line. 151 39. His high school coach, Dwayne Johnson, has made the trip to Grenada to see several of his boys compete. Compete had Shamar Green win the under 17, 1500 meters, and now Bygrave snatches the double. Oh, it's a grand party. 151 43 for Kamario Bygrave. He's the champion, the double champion. D'Angelo Brown of Grenada with the run of his life. 152 51 to take silver. Kieran Trish Kanjaraja of Trinidad and Tobago passed the set of a bronze this time at 152 91. Jaffa Woodley gave it all he had. 153 63 for fourth. Brandon Hines of Barbados fifth. 155 53. Zion Miller of Bahamas sixth. 155 77. 202 68 for Bowen of Jamaica. And Roberts of Guyana did not finish. Gerard Morris Seeley. I'm surprised he isn't in the middle of the party, but he's managing to hold his position down at trackside. And what a party it is. I've got with me Michelle Smith. I finally caught up to her, the winner of the under 20 girls 800 meters. Michelle, another medal to add, another goal to add. How are you feeling about delivering the goods for USVI? Um, honestly, right now I just feel really tired, <laughs> but other than that, I'm super proud to have been able to represent my country to such an extent. Yeah. Were you going after the record? Me? Yeah. No. No. I was just running to make sure they didn't catch me. <laughs> well, you got <laughs> I was very, running for my life. You got very, very close to the record uh, just outside. So well done to you. And uh, what a great career the games for you. And you must be very proud of what you've achieved. Yes, very yeah. proud. Congratulations again. That's uh, Michelle Smith from the USVI. She had a 400 meter hurdles uh, gold medal already. So we are now going to hear from Jada Robinson, the triple jump winner in the under 17 category. Jada, 